Today we would like to focus on um, three currencies, BTC dollar, Ether dollar and Litecoin dollar. And we also want to look at some odd volume patterns we see in the market. First of all, BTC dollar, um, our medium term outlook that we're going to push back into the accumulation zone hasn't happened yet. We are still in the ascending triangle and we do see some um, good battles around the 3650 level where a lot of buyers seem to step in and we see spikes um, higher in BTC dollar there. On the top side, um, we definitely see 4,200 as big resistance where we got rejected the last time. Our short term call is that after the 3,920 level we took out over the weekend, we should see more buyers stepping in. Hasn't happened yet. All bets are off as, as soon as we take out the bottom line 3,650. Then we're going to turn back to our long term or medium term call that we're going to dive deeper into that resistance level 3100 and then further down 2500 as the ultimate um, goal. On the Ether dollar side, uh, we see a, pot a potential bottoming forming pattern. Um, we have made um, new higher lows, but we haven't made a higher high yet. But volume is decent and the market seems to be constructive at the moment. Litecoin dollar is the one which really looks promising. Um, we have turned from a bearish structure into a bullish, bullish structure. We took out a few resistance level and now we are trying to break the $60 um, resistance. You can also see the volume pattern and the Ichimoku cloud which is confirming the bullish scenario we are having here. We do see though um, a possible correction further into the top gray um, area as some sort of a healthy correction to resume the uptrend. Now on the trading volume pattern. When you look into one minute volume patterns, you can see that daily volume is quite low, but we do have these odd spikes which are only seen on one minute bar volume um, charts. And those spikes are sometimes five to 10 times higher in volume than the average one minute bar. We think this could come from OTC desks um, who cannot find any other counterparties anymore to lay off their risk. So they have to turn to exchanges and most of the time it looks like that they're just dumping it within a very short um, time frame and that the high volume um, cannot the exchange cannot cope with the high volume of the coins getting dumped on the market so in general we do not see um, higher volume um, in those few weeks we have um, traded now it's just that we see some volume spikes in a very short time frame if you are trading crypto and want to do it more efficiently, here are some tips for you from our partner, Trade Santa. Today we will share the second tip, minimizing risks. If your trade doesn't go as planned, you can launch another bot in the opposite direction to take advantage of the changing market. This will allow you to both minimize risk and even make a profit in some cases. With Trade Santa, you can create trading bots for multiple pairs on different partner exchanges to enjoy endless upside opportunities and limit your downsides. Cointelegraph. Like, subscribe, and hodl.